Hi everybody, I am Nicholas. I'm Aubrey. And we're the Matneys. And if you haven't been following us recently, we have spent the last four months, maybe five months at this point, yeah. <laughs> building this beautiful van, the Moon Van. And we are on our maiden voyage right now out in Joshua Tree National Park. We built this van in collaboration with Moon Fab. All of our vision for this van was really not that, you know, just for one set of people <laughs> we're going to use it. Um, this is for everyone to enjoy. So right now, there's um, Richard and Henry living been in this for a couple of weeks, but they're first in a long list of people that will yes. get to enjoy this van. Absolutely. All right, well, you want to show off the moon, man? Let's do it. Come on in, guys. Welcome to the kitchen. This is kind of the first room in the house when you enter the van. We designed this kitchen. We wanted to have a lot of counter space because personally we love cooking in the van. It's love. one of one of our favorite things. Um, especially when the door is open yeah. and you can kind of be looking outside while you're cooking. So we knew that we wanted to have a massive amount of counter space on this side, but we also wanted some counter space here so that you could stick your stove here if you wanted to and enjoy the scenery while you're cooking. Let's show you around the kitchen. So we have this awesome overhead cabinet, which um, just stores, you know, your normal kitchen stuff, a lot of food. We got coffee up here. It's just kind of a classic overhead cabinet. In our van, we had a very tiny sink. So we decided, you know what? Let's give these guys an upgrade and get a huge, huge sink with a big faucet so that dishes are absolutely no problem. The faucet is on a pump and there's 40 gallons of water in here. So, you know, I think that's probably gonna last most people around two weeks until you have to fill up, which is incredible. Switch on the water pump and the water flows. Under here, we have the gray water. We wanted this to be really, really easy to take in and out, so made it low to the ground and gave it a quick release so that you can easily take the gray water out. And I've heard reports that it was very easy to take the gray water out, which is something that is a dank job already, so might as well make it really easy. <laughs> we just have a bunch of storage space, so this is for anyone who wants to use it in whatever way they want to use it, which is kind of cool. Um, this is one of my favorite places down here. We just have a lot of storage with a shelf, um, so you can pack a lot of dry goods in there. In this top guy, we got a big camp stove. So you can plop this out on whatever counter space you're feeling the vibe of, really. You just connect your fuel here, you open it up, and you got two beautiful burners to create whatever meals you want to create on the road. One of my favorite additions down here is this Dometic drawer fridge. We like the top-down fridges because cold air sinks, so it's a lot more efficient use of power. So that's why we wanted a top-down fridge, but a lot of times they can be really hard to like organize and figure out how to easily access. So we love this idea. It's just a drawer that pulls out. You got all your food in here. It feels like it's keeping everything really nice and cool. And very easily accessible. At first glance, this might appear to be just another countertop. We bought this one big countertop from Ikea and didn't plan for this at all. But when we cut it, we looked at the other half and we're like, that actually looks like it could be used for something really useful and it would be nice to have total counter space, but we needed a toilet and bathroom set up in here. So this is our van life take on a porta potty, I guess you could say. When you're done cooking, clean it all off. This flips right up, door folds open, and you got yourself a toilet. This is an airhead composting toilet. It's similar to other composting toilets like the nature set, it just happens to be the most compact one. And since we were working with a little tiny space, we wanted to make the most compact toilet possible. So open up, just like that. Grab your phone or whatever you have to relax. And take your deuce, no problem. 
This is the bedroom slash living room slash office. Right. This can form into a few different iterations. The first iteration that we've got set up right now is lounge mode, mm. would you say? Yeah, definitely. I'm feeling pretty laundry feeling right pretty now. Feeling pretty laundry, yeah. right. Yeah, it feels nice. If you want to get your office mode on, your breakfast, lunch, dinner mode on, whatever you use your table for, board game mode. Oh, true, true. You can play Settlers of Catan here, mode. Yeah. Unclip. And then this table right here. There folds right down into place. <laughs> this is honestly so comfortable. And like, we decided we can fit at least three people around. What? At least here, three? Comfortably I... working with the laptop is what I was Okay, saying. okay. But I'm sure those limits will be challenged and pushed. Yes. You know? The more people that are in this van, yes. we'll pack it yes. out. Yeah, we really wanted to design a table that was going to be really sturdy, but also easy to access. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times those two things are harder to accomplish at the same time mm -hmm. than you might think. So we really like this design where it can fold up against the wall and be out of the way, but you know, in a matter of seconds, come down and be really honestly super sturdy. Extremely sturdy. Yeah. This is the sturdiest table we've ever had in a van by far. Yeah, that's for sure. No wobbling with the laptops. Like Yeah, no, the laptops are safe on this table. Been there, sure. done that. <laughs> Third and final mode. You finished up your dinner. It's time to go to bed. The bed mode. And we wanted to make this as easy and seamless as possible because while pull-out beds are really, really common because they really make the most sense of the space, a lot of times we've seen pull-out beds that it's 15, 20 minutes to set up your mm -hmm. bed. You don't want that. No. You've been out drinking, you've been out doing your thing, you come back home, you're gonna sleep on a couch if it takes you 15 minutes to turn your bed into a bed. Isn't that the truth? Yeah, yeah. so let's just show off how fast we do it okay. here. We have a similar clip to the table on the edge. Slide right out. And the cushion slides down. And you got a huge, comfortable bed. How about that, huh? Oh yeah, let's make it. Cute. Maybe grab those two little pillows up there. <laughs> Have I a bed moment. I need to take my, sho my shoes off there, hold on. <laughs> Show some reverence to the moon van. There she is, oh Dang, man. this is comfy as hell. We made these cushions six inches thick. We didn't make these cushions. <laughs> she made these cushions. Yeah, I made the cushions. But yeah, no, it's very comfortable. I cannot feel the wood underneath me. No, not at all. At all. So yeah. Hey. It's pretty comfortable. So when you're all cozied up in bed at night in a van, what do you what do you want to do more than anything? Um temperature control. Temperature control. Yeah. I didn't expect you to say that. Yeah, no, I mean temperature control is very <laughs> very hard to accomplish in a van. What yeah, you but say? I was like trying to go direction with the tour and you just like threw out an honest answer that was <laughs> I was gonna say when you're in bed in the van you want to watch some Netflix. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, true, true, true. Yeah. Maybe both at the same time. You want a temperature control van where you can enjoy your Netflix. <laughs> Sounds incredible. Once the bed mode is out, we've got our always accessible outlets right here, some USB type outlets right here, and then we have a Max Air fan right above us. If any of you guys play games with any fans except Max Air fans, the only games you're playing are with yourself. <laughs> because Max Air, oof. Max Air is lit. Oh, unbelievable. It's unbelievable. You'll never go back. Yeah, no, we have uh, we have two Max Airs in our old van. It can go in and out. So you could just crack the front windows, pull in, and just have nice circulation. Or, alternatively, you right. could just have this blown on your faces. So That works too. Yeah. yeah. Nice temperature-controlled Netflix watching. That's it's true, right. There. We got it both. Yeah. <laughs> We um, wanted to do something a little bit different than just your normal puck lights in here. Um, we wanted had enough the lights, of the puck lights. Had enough of the puck lights. You know, just like top down lighting isn't necessarily the vibe. We installed these really nice LED light strips on each of the sides and they really give a lot of light. They're amazing. Yeah. yeah. And it's a lot softer of a light. With mm -hmm. the puck lights, you, you honestly kind of feel like you're being glared down at right the right it's true doesn't really set a vibe but i love these they're really really nice and super efficient these take like no power at all this is the garage we like to call it um really it's just the guts of the van kind mm. of all of the inner workings of the van are kind of stored here in this van we really wanted to maximize upper space and, and headroom up there so people could sit comfortably so all of the nitty gritty of the van actually is built underneath this platform. This platform was like the basis for this build. I mm -hmm. think it's kind of the unique thing that we put into this build. We've got a step up on the other side of the platform and then underneath it, we've got our entire water right here. We have this huge 40 gallon water tank. 45. 
Gallon 45. Yep. Wow. It's only halfway done. And uh, you guys are what, like a weekend? Yeah. Just... Seven, eight days. Seven, eight days. Yeah. That is unbelievable. Can you imagine not doing every four day water <laughs> chore? Uh, by far the worst chore in the van. Yeah. By far. Yeah. Filling up the water. <laughs> so we've got the water storage right here. Right next to it, this is the campsite storage. And especially because this is the moon van, we wanted to maximize all of this for maximum outdoor camping space. Mm -hmm. Get your shades out, get your fire on, you know, and hang out. Have your camp set up. Exactly. So this drawer is massive. It is meant to hold literally whatever you will need to set up a dope ass campsite mm. under the moon shade. We got our Jackery battery here, the shades for the windows, our tent, chairs, table, anything you need. So if you are one of the people that gets to enjoy this wonderful van, you'll be all set up. We actually use some interesting materials back here too. The flooring right here is all cork. We want it to be as sustainable as possible and this was also Moon's biggest priority when, ask, when working with us to build this van was that they wanted basically everything to be as sustainable as it could possibly be. This right here is all cork, um, super water resistant, the most beautiful flooring I've ever seen in a van, mm -hmm. wouldn't you say? Yeah, it's natural so it's not polluting. Right. Um, like a lot of other uh, flooring, like vinyl, right. stuff like that. Absolutely. We have our entire electrical setup down here. We got 200 amp hours of lithium ion battery power. Mm. So that's pretty lit. A 1000 watt inverter in here. We actually have an awesome rack on the roof from Flatline Rack Company, but we've got two different solar panels hooked up there. 280 watts of solar. This whole system is charging off of that solar and it's also additionally charging off of the alternator in the car. So there shouldn't be any time where this thing doesn't have juice. That's unless strange. you're, you know, staying still in Seattle, but right. who does that, right? <laughs> yeah. On this side, we've got a couple of drawers specifically for gear storage is the intent. So almost everyone that's coming in this van is going to want to have a creative expression on the road somehow. That is where we're gonna be able to keep the stuff. And then over here on the other side, we've got more such of drawers specifically for clothing. Clothing storage, gear storage, sheets, pillow storage. Right. What else do you need? Yeah, that's it. Gunshots in the background. <laughs> Dash is it's pretty subtle in the desert. <laughs> what a cute pretty story. Nice. Dash. All of you guys who haven't met Dash, we actually have a full-time puppy right now. He's three, but he's still a puppy. Look at this. He's a little puppy. Oh, mm. <laughs> Great guard dog. Well guys, it feels so good to be able to show you guys this project that we have been putting so much time and effort into. And as we've said on each of these videos, this is in collaboration with Moonfab. The difference with this video is that everyone has already submitted their applications to take this van out. There are too many applicants already, so they have closed off applications for 2021. So if you're one of the applicants, we're cheering you on. You got this. We can't wait for you to be able to get on this van. If you weren't one of the applicants, next year this van will be available again to apply to take out yourself to experience van life for a period of time. Check out Moonfab. We'll put the link in the description below to learn more about this project and the story of the Moon Van and to follow all the different incredible people that will be going in it. We so appreciate all of you guys coming along with us on this series. For those of you guys who followed the whole build, I mean, all of your guys' comments, giving us ideas, really contributed Hell so yeah. much to everything. So yes. we just like sending the love to you guys yes. and uh, can't wait for some of you to send us pictures in this yes. van. Yes, this is, while we're the ones launching this project, it has already been an incredibly collaborative project with so many people a part of it. Thank you guys again. So much love to you. We'll see you very, very soon. Bye guys. <laughs>